Sometimes you may want to change the colour of a widget symbol in order to make it as specific as possible. For example, if I type the sentence I bought a green jumper, you can see that this sentence is a little contradictory as the colour of the jumper here is red. We can edit the colours used to build up this symbol if we click in the text currently underneath the symbol and then click on the colour palette tool on the top toolbar. If we do this a box will pop up and it will give us a preview of the jumper and it will show us all of the colours that have been used to create that symbol. If we click on these colours we can select an alternative from the basic colour palette or we can click on more colours to give us a more extensive set of colours to choose from. As we select alternative colours you'll notice the jumper change in the preview window. So if we go through and select alternative colours for each of these options we should end up with a symbol that's much more suitable for the sentence that we've typed. Once we're finished with our changes if we click OK we will be taken back to the document which now contains our updated jumper symbol. As we've changed the colour of the jumper we don't really need this symbol so we can remove it and using the technique that we learned earlier click in the text for jumper then click on the cat sand button along the top toolbar or press F11 on your keyboard we can enter the text green jumper underneath the one symbol and once we're finished if we click OK on the top toolbar or press enter on the keyboard the program will remember that change for the rest of this document on this machine. So if I type another sentence, I like my green jumper, the program will remember that it's a double word and it will display that symbol. Again, we will show you how to save those changes permanently in a later video.